seconds, I'm going to ask you some questions about numbers. I want to know what you know, know about them and what we can still teach you, okay? Okay. All right. I want you to just start doing some counting, okay? So start at 1,002 and count backwards. 1,002, 1,001, 1,000, 999, 998, 997, 996. Stop. Nice job. Now we're going to do a little bit of backward counting, you know, like three, two, one. Yeah, you know what I mean by counting backwards? Yes. Can you count backwards starting from the number 18? 18. A, A, no. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Okay. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, okay. All right. All right. I'm going to have some cards for you, and I would love for you to tell me what number is this? 628, 402, 555, 1,000. Uh, Seventy-five. So we know it's a different type of number, mm -hmm. and you've probably seen them before. Do you think where you've seen them? Fractions. Yes, it's a fraction. Do you remember how we say this? One and one third. Great. Read this for me. Two minus one fourth. Two minus one fourth. How much would that be? Be three quarters. Three quarters? Or er, no, three and three quarters. Or er, no, not three quarters. One three. and three quarters. One and three quarters. Okay. How did you think that? How did you think about that one? Well, you just subtract that because when you subtract one fourth from a whole number, it would become less than. I don't, okay. I don't know. Yeah, it does become less than that whole, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You're right on that one. I'm just trying to think about how you thought about it. How did you know that it was going to be one and three quarters? Well, I don't know. Well, if that, say that would be four quarters, the two, then if you subtract a quarter, then that would make the two a one. And, and make it three quarters. Ah, okay, okay, that makes sense to me. I have 12 counters here. Use these counters to make four equal groups. Okay. Okay. How many groups do you have? Three. Do you have four equal groups? Yeah. Count, count your groups. Uh. So show me your groups. Which one is, which pile is a group? This one. Okay. What other piles do you have? This one okay. and this one. Okay, so how many groups do you have? Three. Okay, can you make four? Yeah. Show me. Are they equal groups? How do you know? Because I already counted them. And how many do you have in each group? Three. Very nice job. Okay. Here are four red counters. And here are three blue counters. How many counters are there all together? Seven. Great. Here are eight red counters. How many are left under there, Addison? Six. 
Very good. <laughs> Give me a high five. Yeah. Alrighty. My work here is done. Nice job. You did great. You know a lot about numbers. Yeah. <laughs> but you did great. You did great. What do you like, not just about today, but what do you like about this style of assessment? Um, I really like these screeners for multiple reasons. I like the interview piece where I get to talk to the student and probe their thinking more and find out how they're really understanding numbers. Um, and I have them, you know, right in front of me. I get more information from them telling me um, what they know about numbers and how they're solving them than just seeing them write it down. Um, and these screeners in particular really help me to understand how to direct my instruction um, because they're, that since they're, they're based on the foundational skills for the incremental parts of the grade level, it helps me to know where to start my instruction um, based on their foundational needs or gaps. How did that feel for you? I don't know. Well, it was a little bit weird because I know most of these problems, but my brain was like, it's, you know this, you know this, but what is it? <laughs> How do you feel when you usually take a test? Well, if it's Spanish, really nervous, but math, I usually do them about like once a month. So, I mean, you get used to it though. You know, it's tricky because you really want to go back and, and, uh, and teach it immediately, you know? Yeah. When, you see, when you see so much thinking going on, <laughs> you know? You see so much thinking going on, you're like, ah, oh, I just want to think about that, you know? Like if I had 10, and I'm going to call that 4 tenths. Have you ever heard it called 4 tenths before? Mm, maybe. Okay. I four. don't know. So that's, a lot of people read decimal numbers like that. They'll say 4 tenths. And I would want to think, if I'm taking away 4 tenths from 10, then how could I still have 10? If I'm taking something away from that 10, how could I still have 10? Could I still? Well, well if it's a zero... Well, you can't take away whole, like if like I had if I took away one, then I'd have nine, right? Mm -hmm. But that's not one; it's zero. But is it anything? Yes. What is it's it? It's very small, but it's it's. It's very small, but it is something. Mm -hmm. So, am I still going to have ten, even though I took something away? No. Probably not, right? Let you let you think about that one. <laughs>